shooting a combined 69% from the field right now, these teams? Give me the two. Coley into the game now for Nebraska. Well, Vernon Marley down low. She's doubled by Shelley. Kicks it back out. Great open look for the Jays and a terrific save. Open look. Lockett knocks down another three-pointer. Jazz Shelley throws up a three. That's off. That was pretty contested, too. Coley, nice rebound. Then she's fouled down low. That has to be careful here. It's a player you got to be aware of. Swing in with the shoulders to try to create space. And there was excessive use there. Jim Flannery has this offense down pat. It is fantastic and it's really difficult to guard when it's run well. Three-pointer by break is off. Basket will push two. Hello. Play hard. They establish a great inside-outside game. And that's something Nebraska needs to make sure they're establishing within the next two minutes of this quarter, trying to get back inside, post touches as much as possible. you got to get Markowski involved nearly every possession. I agree again. Oh, the shooter is just perfectly on line, the way she releases right on center with the basket. Morgan Molly, four for four from three-point range, foul down low. The quick shooting is what makes it so difficult to contest because normally when you catch the ball on a skip pass, as a player, you take a second to figure Both free throws good from Markowski. Inside two minutes to go in this first quarter. Molly already with 14 points in the game. Four three-pointers, two free throws, another three on the way. And That's been open. Fire. Look, right now Creighton is proving if you just constantly spread the floor well and pass the ball at a high level, you're going to get open threes. Eight threes in the first quarter for the Jays. Looked inside. Here's Markowski down low. Double Turn around. Gets the ball. Nice jump. Going back. Great defense there by Darius. Good drive by Gary White. Slapped away. Markowski. The buzzer. You see a packed house here. Men are playing well. Volleyball, number one in the country. So much going on in Lincoln. This is one of the best fan bases in the country. And they have a lot to cheer about right now between volleyball, basketball. That's a really nice cut for Creighton. It's going to give Creighton fans a lot. If you told Amy Williams that Creighton's going to have eight three-pointers in the first, shoot eight of 13, but you're only going to be down by five, she'd probably take that. Oh, if you take that, yeah. 100%. In and out. Keep getting open looks. They're going to keep taking them. And they're trying to give it to whoever is guarding Mark House because she pulls people out from the paint. That's a really nice finish by Logan Nisley. Great take there by Nisley. Our shot gets it back up top. Mogensen. Our shot drives face around. Good pass. Laid in by Ronson. Good job by Creighton trying to spread the floor. Jay drives, good little kick out, and pucks with two. Had some zing to it. Six points now for Potts. Long three-pointer. Good short by Harshaw. Up top, Potts turn around in the lane, off the back of the rim, got a one rebound, and Potts back in. Potts does not play like a freshman. She attacks, she stays with plays, and she makes sure she finishes what she started. You see a mismatch down low, Darian White getting posted up. And from behind the foul called. Oh, they're going to give her the pass. When the foul gets called, you always just want to shoot it because you never know if it's going to count. If the ref's going to give it to you, she got it. Skip pass. Open look there. Take is off. Markowski tips it away into the hands of the Jays.
Down low again to Ronsick. Off glass. Ronsick does a great job of moving without the ball. She cuts hard to the basket. And she's nice. Good, does a good job of recognizing switches. Ooh. Great take and drive. Doesn't matter who you're playing. Great Free to hold people to that, but 54% right now. You see Creighton shooting lights out right now as a team. Huskers, though, don't have this culture, this identity of tough, in-your-face, hard-nosed, outwork. That's kind of been Amy Williams' culture that she's built here at Nebraska. Ooh. Draws the foul. And went to keep it for herself to score. You know, in the first game, we've gone at least a 10 0 run in all three of those. I think it's that defense that translates so well into the offense. Shot. Long there. And you can get stops defensively, it allows you to play so much faster. And when you have a player like Jazz Shelley who can distribute the way she does, ooh, Nebraska's dangerous in transition. Good ball movement by the Jays. It's a great move. Nice reverse lead. Just a little bit, but has really nice size at six feet tall. She's long and can finish over smaller guards easily. Fantastic job by Ted Petrie. Shot it away from Mogensen. Off. Long rebound. Wow. Jensen feed down low. That was just pretty. Got it in tight. Could not finish. A good decision by Nebraska to slow it down. Try to get a little offense going. Force Creighton to have to defend for a long period of time. Potts bounce pass down low. Off glass. Petrie with the button. Four point advantage. Jays with the ball here in quarter number two. Good pass down low to Molly. Molly paddles her way and works her way. Shelly will reset. Markowski screen up top calls for it. Three pointer off of the screen by Shelly. In transition, Townsend lays it in with the left hand. Townsend. Such a fast pace in transition. Somebody is always down the floor. My goodness, I'm tired watching them. <laughs> Pass down low, Potts off class. May have used an extra step there. To get to the basket. Jensen with it. Reset by Mogensen. Molly's three pointer. And that's off. Coming up at halftime, All State halftime report coming your way. Right to where the shooting pocket is, or right on the hands and a post player where they can just go up with it. One of two good from Markowski. She has 11 in the first half. Jay's likely holding for a last shot here, and they'll reset Lauren Jensen with it up top. Jensen drives. Right hand floater by Jensen along the baseline. And that will end the first half of play on a hot shooting first half by the Creighton Blue. Not miss a three-pointer. The Nebraska has to keep getting the ball inside to Alexis Markowski. They have 30 points in the paint so far. When the ball goes into Markowski, Creighton doesn't have the size to match her one-on-one. -on -one. They're doubling, and it opens up more on the outside for the Huskers. Creighton has never trailed in this one. Morgan Molly hit that first three-pointer. Nebraska has not been in the lead. There's a three-pointer by Potts and the freshman. Right out of the timeout. Nebraska right out of the half. Nebraska cuts it to four. There's break. Jensen with it up top. Ron 
Drops it. It'll fade away Ooh. in the paint. Great shot. The WNBA. Wow. Fantastic job keeping her shoulders squared, even on the fadeaway. Mary White looks inside, trying to find Markowski down low, who's doubled. They get it to her now, down low. Backs down. And she's doubled from behind and draws the foul. To get back into this one. Throws that one home. Nebraska now 8 of 11. Markowski with 13 points. Who's on the other team? Take some time off the shot clock. Good pass. Ooh, good block. Great job by Markowski. Robinson with it. Here is Brake driving in. Brake with the scoop and off glass. Oh. Markowski with the drive in the left hand. Rebound by Brake. That's a good job by Markowski. If no one stops you, just keep going to the basket. She was a little shocked at how open she was. Lauren Jensen with it. Well, that's a golf to Logansen. Good defense there by Markowski. Logansen Street rattles out. Breaking the starting lineup this year after coming off the bench in every game last year. As you mentioned, five seniors on the team. But regardless, Break has done a great job using her length defensively in this game, doing all the little things to keep Freeman on point. A good take by Mogensen. Eight point advantage here for Creighton in the third. Ooh. Take there by Shelly and then scoop underneath and draws the foul on Mallory Break. You have to, you can't leave any points to foul in in a game that's tight. One of the things Jim Flannery talked about before is that we really don't have a matchup for Markowski. So we're going to have to switch and double and beat her to the spot. Going long three. In and out. Rebound out to Hake. Oh, she walked. Yeah, she walked. Did she take a step? Like, uh, isn't that an E.T. when they ride the bike through the sky? <laughs> I've never seen that movie, actually. What? I was scared of it when I was little. Ooh. When it's a walk in basketball, too, so that's something to be afraid of, I guess. Ahead to Markowski. Little jump stop, and Markowski finishes in transition to the Jays. Ooh. A left handed quick pass down low. Everybody is in the eye line side of their teammate, but they're spread out enough so Nebraska can't guard two people at one time. Markowski once again. Lock it off the screen. Drives lane. Kicks it back out. Open look Bronson. Hake will set it up here for the Huskers. Drives in. It's a quick move. with an opportunity to cut it to two or maybe one. Coley. And the foul called. Has Nebraska back to within four. Kroll's free throw is good. The Jays have not hit a three-pointer since the first quarter. They're 0 for their last nine. Down low, Ronsick. Scoop, got it. Big shot for Ronsick. I love her game down low. She's crafty. Can you say that just one time? You have to scoop. scoop. There it is. You have to do it a few times to really be effective. We'll wait. I, I, I don't know if I had another one. I mean, if she does it again, I'll hit you three times with it. Appreciate that. There's the mismatch. Ronsick. No scoop, but right over the outstretched hand. Nice job by her. She's got fantastic touch.
Nicely dribbling along the baseline, draws the foul. First miss from the free throw line this year. To five. 59-54, it's been the Jays from the start. Great cut. cut, Mogensen draws the foul. A better job of not getting face cut. That means as a defender, you have to jump to the ball. Four points now for Townsend. Here's Darian White. Leaves it for Potts and loses control. And the turnover on Nebraska. Good drive off glass. In transition, if someone's getting beat, you have to call that out, have a teammate come over at the slide and help. She's just a great scorer, has done so many things for this Creighton team. Nebraska has not scored in the last three minutes, 30 seconds. Shelly, good shot three off the back of the rim. First one good by Jensen. And the Jays extend the lead. Huskers need to get it inside. Ten seconds to go in the third. Potts with it. Down to Markowski. Spin down low. Markowski got the roll at the buzzer. Nebraska right now is on the floor in Iowa City taking on Iowa. They lead it 20 to 14 and a win there for Nebraska Volleyball would be their first conference championship since 2017. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. With the Jays on top 65-56. They extended that lead in the third despite an early run from Nebraska. Markowski did some great work down low, put up 19 total. There's a little roll that she gets off the front of the rim. 10 feet is so dangerous because once you can square up and hit, you're going to become all unguardable in the post. I got so excited talking about it, I stumbled <laughs> over it. That goes off the fingertips of Ronson. It'll be Nebraska's ball. Moriarty bounce pass inside. Great entry pass, but off the bottom of the backboard by Markowski. A little late, though. What do you think they're trying to slide over? Molly got the three-pointer. Big Potts has his shot blocked. Hustles after it. Moriarty with it. Late in the shot clock. Shelly fires it up at the buzzer. Jazz Shelly. She hasn't made a shot all game. And you should have just seen the look on her face when she got that one to go in. But sometimes you just need to see one go in. And that's who Nebraska needs to get going in these next seven minutes. Molly with the three. Battles in and out. Good rebound. Hustle by Break. Break does everything but great. Fonsic. Jensen. Rattles in and out. See if that provides some momentum for Nebraska. Great take. Darian White beat everybody down the floor and lays it in. Nebraska now within five. More energy here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. And this match, they switch off. Foul and the and one opportunity by Mallory Brink. Once again, Nebraska gets face cut. Brink crosses right in front of Kendall Moriarty, and she gets the hand in there. That's a great cut. By Mallory Brake getting in there wide open all the time in the world for the finish. Nebraska has to jump to the ball. Back to seven. Shelly will take the three. He's long. Rebound to White. Gives it to Shelly again. Kicks it back out. Darian White's three is off. Another opportunity for a three. Potts in and out. Multiple second chances there for Nebraska. 
good pass down low. Ronsik wide open underneath, lays it in. Great. Moves got the ball so well. They also understand within the offense where their teammates are going to be. A lot of times, Creighton will pass the ball before their teammate actually gets to the spot. But they have that trust to know they're going to get there eventually. Good reverse by Jazz Shelley with a stutter step. That's exactly who needs to get going right now for Nebraska. Got to lock it. Open look for Jensen. Rebound Markowski. Megan McEwen. Mascot scientist. <laughs> Good take by White. She draws a foul. Both at Montana State and here at Nebraska. Keep her shoulder square to the basket and push through towards the rim. Molly catch and shoot. She gets it off so quick. They continue pounding it inside. White kicks it out. That was a good call. It was 10 earlier. Yeah. Six minute mark here. As they kept creating the one and done situations and started getting the ball inside. Jensen with the drive, baseline, good pull up. Rebound by Ronson and the travel. Fisher says she walked. So the turnover. White draws the foul, and it's going to be on Ronsik. Credit White. Off the back of the rim. We get a two point game. Tipped away. White chases after it. Got her a rebound. Kicked outside. Shelly. Yeah, travel called on White. He cans it off. Here's Jensen driving. Jensen lays it in. 2.30 to go, five point advantage for Creighton. There's the double. Shelly's three was off the back of the rim. Tipped away. Great job to get up there by Brake. Home crowd trying to get into it. Two minutes to go. Jensen again on the dribble. Working on Markowski. Pull up. Off the front of the rim, the rebound to Lockett, who puts it back up, and Lockett is fouled by White. <laughs> One of two for Keanu Lockett. Molly tried to save it. Get the ball inside to Markowski once again, a paint touch at least. Try to open things up on the perimeter. Yeah, Shelly's a dangerous scorer, and she knows that. Free throw good by Shelly. Nebraska not in foul trouble at all. One minute, 30 seconds to go. Four point. Creighton lead. Lockett with it. Lockett drives in. Little floater by Lockett. Knocked down, but she gets a rebound. Kicks it back up top. Mallory break off to Jensen. Eight seconds on the shot clock. We got Jensen up top. Five on the shot clock. Here's Jensen to the basket. Great feed to Ronson. Ronson knocked down. And pulled away again by Lockett. Back-to-back -back offensive rebounds by Lockett. Uh, three if you count the possession before Ooh. as well. Lockett is all over the place right now. Creighton's doing the right thing. Got to keep it away. You have to get a body on somebody. Create contact and space to go with the ball. Trying to trap up top. Molly has it. 
and the foul. So Morgan Molly now at the line to shoot free throws. That is three attempts, three free throws for Molly. She's perfect on the year from the charity start. She also has perfect form from three from the free throw line. Beautiful follow through. Into Markowski. She gathers it down low up strong for the basket off the inbounds pass. Great play. Great ATO by Amy Williams. Get the ball inside quickly. Love the law pass. Molly double teamed and calls a timeout. Took the timeout. 19 seconds to go. And a turnover. Here's Jazz Shelley. Three on the way. In and out. Rebound, Ronsick. So Emma Ronsick now at the line. Free throw good. Nebraska has to score quick. Gotta score fast. Yep, too much time, way too much time. And a foul called. And Creighton's coming off a loss to Green Bay, and you can tell by talking to Coach Flannery, he's still mad about it. <laughs> and this was a get-right game for Creighton to come in. You could tell that they just got beat with how hard they started to play out starting the first quarter. Rebound. Back to Kroll. She drives in. And that's going to do it. For the seventh time in eight...